From always being involved in drama to having multiple scandals, let's take a look at how James Charles ruined his new brand. Delaying the launch Before the pandemic struck, there was a lot of drama going on in the beauty world, with the likes of James Charles and Jeffree Star being at the center of the drama. However, during the drama a lot of people really dove into their passion for makeup and started making a career out of it. With salespeople becoming beauty influencers and becoming trendsetters in the cosmetics world. However, on the other hand, there was also a huge chunk of people who stopped using makeup entirely since everyone was staying at home during the pandemic and there was little to no need for doing makeup at all and thus makeup sales really started taking a hit. As a result, the beauty industry was facing a decline and there were few new products that were being launched. Post pandemic, major cosmetics companies including Morph started shutting down and other major cosmetics companies like Forma ended up filing for bankruptcy. Naturally, there's no surprise that it's not really the ideal time for launching a new cosmetics brand, but James Charles did not get the message. He had his entire makeup brand's launch lined up and what was supposed to be a holiday launch ended up being a spring 2023 launch. James posted a story on his Instagram where he said it wasn't possible for him to launch during the holidays since he's a perfectionist and he wanted to ensure that whatever he was putting into the market was nothing short of perfect. However, the unexpected delay really got fans questioning what was so wrong about his formula and products that made him delay his launch. But before we get into more details about how James Charles ruined his new brand, if you're liking our content so far, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to our channel and turn on the notification button so you can get notified every time we post a new video and that way you can stay updated about your favorite celebrities and all the drama that goes on in their lives and how your favorite makeup gurus tend to walk all over their career just for the sake of drama. Being dropped by Morph Remember when Jaclyn Hill talked about her dreams of launching her own brand and she ended up collaborating with Forma Cosmetics? Well, a lot of people have a hunch that James Charles also wanted to do the same thing instead of being in full control of his brand, but with all the drama that he had surrounded himself with, he ended up getting dropped by Morph. So we can say this for sure that even if James Charles made attempts to try and sign a deal with Morph for his brand, we're sure Morph turned him down, considering their own financial status and their past experience of working with James Charles. Well, we guess James Charles is left entirely on his own if he wants to launch his own brand and will not be getting any help from any of the big giants in the cosmetics industry. Auditions Naturally, when launching an entirely new brand, you also have to ensure that you're doing a pretty solid marketing of your products and this is exactly what James Charles had in mind. He went on his social media and posted a video saying that he was looking for 10 makeup enthusiasts whom he could fly over to LA for the launch of his brand. James Charles then went ahead and mentioned that people would have to post a video of their best makeup look and mentioned a few hashtags that they would have to use when posting the video. However, a few days later when he went live on his TikTok account and mentioned further details about the contest and that people could only apply if they were above 18 years old since he had to fly them over. He also went ahead and mentioned a few other rules regarding who could apply for the contest. At this point, a lot of people had already posted videos and James Charles had naturally gotten a lot of publicity. But announcing the details of the contest at the last minute did seem a little shady and made fans look at his brand with a more deceptive eye, thus setting a negative perception about his brand even before it was launched. More Brand Drama Well, with James promised to fly a total of 10 people to Los Angeles for the launch of his brand, there's also some other information that James Charles conveyed about his new launch. James decided to drop hints about the product that he will be launching first and said that it would not be something too common and that people would probably walk past it if they saw it on a shelf somewhere. James had also previously mentioned that his brand is designed in a way that says even if the person using it does not like James Charles, they will need the product in their life. However, considering all the hype that James Charles has created around his brand and how much he's promising to deliver, there's a high chance that if he ends up putting forward a product that's too conventional, fans will just see that he's making an empty promise and this probably will ruin expectations that people attach with James Charles' brand in the future. Well, now that we've discussed how James Charles has ruined the launch of his own makeup brand, let us know in the comments if you think he can make a comeback or not.